speak to the diet of the Neanderthal? Weren't they specialists on hunting and, and meat eating? That's more a question for Chris. They, they, well, or go they for it, guys. Or hey, I mean, uh, I'm just and, and we, could, we could eat a lot of different things if we were more vegetarian. Is that possible? Uh, I, I would, I mean, Alison can come in and add hers to this, but from my point of view, yes, I mean, modern humans broadened the diet even more than Neanderthals. Yeah. So um, aquatic processing, marine resources, Neanderthals did a little bit of this, but it wasn't a major well, what's part. What's aquatic processing? Is that it, fishing? It, yeah, fishing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For God's <laughs> sake. Sorry, I'm Just slipping saying, into Harvard geez. speak. I, I apologize. I call, More uh, Harvard speak there, I'm sorry. That's yeah. torture. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fishing. Aquatic. Very good. What do you say we do some aquatic yeah, processing? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. I, <laughs> I'm using worms. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway, sorry. I, I, I yes. still have Fishy. not heard the answer Fishy. to my question. Okay, yes, let's, broader, let's go. Yeah, Alice, broader, broader, yes. broader, broader, what? broader processing of many different kinds of foods. And with modern humans, you've got things like traps and snares and nets. Yeah. And these help you gather food in all kinds of ways, which Nantos probably couldn't. And, and I'm sure Alison yeah. could add to this. I think they were more efficient at getting their food. But I'm not entirely convinced that they were eating different things. I think in, within modern humans today, if you look at hunter-gatherers, you, if you go from very arid environments to slightly less arid environments, in arid environments the meat consumption is higher because there are long periods of the year when there's nothing else to eat. Um, and if you go, say, to the edge of the desert, there's more veg vegetables that are available year-round. If you look at Arctic populations versus, versus North Boreal populations, the people who live in places where there are vegetables always eat them. And what we find, we thought that Neanderthals were basically exclusive carnivores, which seems improbable because if you actually try to live, has anybody ever gone on the Scarsdale diet or the yeah, right, diet? Right. If you try to live on Ugh. protein, um, <laughs> you lose weight because you simply aren't, um, you don't, you're not creating enough or priming the digestive mechanism that allows you to digest all that protein. So what happens? You have terrible stomach upset and you lose weight. And it's not healthy. It's a strain on um, kidney it's function. A, it's a strain, strain on yep. everything. So um, they couldn't have been, if they're humans or related to us, they could not have lived only on meat. And indeed, we, we discovered, this is research I did with one of my students, um, discovered that if you uh, don't go to a dentist, um, the stuff builds up on your teeth, right? You get all this... Uh, the plaque turns into tartar, it's very hard. And you the did dentist, this to one of your students? And the dentist, <laughs> no, okay. no, we, we borrowed dental picks from my dentist and we went off to scrape the teeth of first modern humans, then old modern humans, and then old Neanderthals, and discovered that the starch grains from what you ate are still on your teeth 100,000, 130,000 years later. And um, so this is how we discovered that Neanderthals not only were eating plants, but they were cooking them. And in Iraq, for instance, Neanderthals were eating barley porridge. Mm. In, uh, and we thought, well, maybe that's just the ones who lived in the Middle East, where the climate was really good. But we also discovered that Belgian Neanderthals, who lived on the edge of the ice, were eating water lily roots and uh, beans and all kinds of plants. In fact, everywhere we find that the grasses, the, the wheat, the barley, the rye, the whatever, form a considerable percentage. In fact, the majority of the starch grains we find on the teeth. And that they all eat legumes like beans and peas and underground storage organs like tubers or carrots or turnips or whatever. And is so, this, is this yeah. evidence of of a diet managed through agriculture or pure no, opportunism? No, this is purely wild food. No purely agriculture. Food. Mm -hmm. But that Neander, that's the plant component of the Neanderthal diet was not tiny. And we're trying to figure out why other tests are telling us that they ate a lot of meat. They probably did eat a lot of meat in some seasons of year, but they certainly uh, consumed plants whenever they could. 